Hello! In this video I'm going to unbox and review the top 5 cool tech gadgets which I bought all from Gearbest, each for under $10. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to be in with a chance of winning one of two Apple Watch clones when I hit 5000 subscribers. So the first item is this Fashion Pocket MP3 player which as you can see is basically just a clone of an Apple iPod Shuffle. The box arrived a bit damaged as you can see here, so let's open it and see what you get inside. So on the top of the box you've got the instructions and you can see it tells you well, pretty obviously how to use it. And then inside we have a pair of Apple clone earphones and a USB charging cable and also um, well, they forgot to include the MP3 player, so Gearbest are sending me another one, which I'll review at a later date, but it does show that Gearbest will sort out problems with your order. So this next item is very cool. It's an infrared thermometer, and as you can see, they've actually included it this time, and this was only $6.99 from Gearbest. The packaging lists the specifications of the thermometer and also the places you could use it like on food, on car engine parts or on air conditioning for example. Inside we have some instructions which obviously tell you the specifications again and how to use the thermometer. Obviously we don't need to read those. So let's install the batteries that come with it and let's use it on something. As you can see it looks like a proper hardware tool with this yellow and black design. This is the hole where the cool magic laser comes out of. There's an optional backlight for the LCD screen, you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit and there's also a laser guide. So let's laser my hand and see what temperature I am. And how about my iPhone? You can also check the temperature of animal such as dog. Cold items must be lasered to ensure healthy eating. You must not point the laser at the eyes. If you don't trust your kettle, you can laser it. My kettle is trustworthy. Again, remember to check dog. Item number three is a colour screen calendar which cost $8.24. Now this is a sort of temperature sensor calendar and you'll see why in a minute but let's open the box and see what you get inside. You get some instructions and if we take it out of the plastic bubble wrap you can see that it's got this plastic covering on the front here, this swivelling bit the use of which will become apparent later and a button on the top and some buttons on the back. It's also got a battery housing, you can use two AAA batteries with this or a 5 volt power supply. So the colour display basically shows you the time, which can be a 12 or 24 hour format, the day of the week, the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, the humidity, it uses the temperature and humidity to display a little graphic of the weather. So this is actually a projection clock, which is what this swivelly thing is for. Inside it there's a sort of laser projection of an LCD clock, and you can use this to project the time onto a wall or the ceiling or whatever. So you point the swivelly thing onto a wall or to the ceiling, focus it, and it projects the clock onto that surface. The next item is this 6-in-1 solar robot kit. Now this was excellent value for money. I got a lot of enjoyment and time out of this and it was only $3.73 and for that you can make six different robot toys. Let's open the packaging and see what you get inside. Well there's all this sort of electrical stuff including the little solar panel and this is what is going to power your little toy robots. The instructions are detailed and show you exactly what to do but they are a little bit complicated. Whichever model you make, you have to build the gearbox and solar panel assembly first. Sun and halogen make solar panel happy, but cloudy makes solar panel sad. 
If you've ever made any model kits, you'll be familiar with these. These are sort of plastic trees that contain all the parts, and they're all numbered, and the instructions refer to the numbered parts. Twisting the parts off the tree was very hard, and in the end I resorted to using my pen knife. Building the gearbox assembly was really hard work and very fiddly. Some of the parts are exceptionally small. But eventually, it all came together and looked like it did in the instructions. Considering the cheapness of this kit, I can't believe it actually fits together as well as it does. After about 45 minutes and lots of swearing, the motor assembly and solar panel housing were complete. Time to test it. And unbelievably, it worked first time. I then built the windmill model and put it all together. You do have to have your light source very close to the solar panel. Other than that, I think this is spectacular value for money. The final gadget is this USB endoscope, which I bought for $8.95, and this is for Android or PC, but I also got it working with my Apple Mac using Photo Booth. There's loads of stuff inside the box, including some Chinglish instructions, with such gems as can capture picture, record video, and save the video on your computer and Android mobile phone, the whole process of record check, convenient observation, and follow-up analysis. There's a driver CD and loads of little accessories, but let's face it, we're just going to point this at stuff. The endoscope uses a micro USB connection and comes with an adapter for USB. This is the actual little endoscope, and you can see it's got little LEDs around the camera bit, and that's so it can illuminate small dark areas. So let's plug it in by USB into my Mac, and as you can see, the LEDs on this endoscope are pretty bright. So let's take a look at some actual footage from the endoscope. So this little control thing has a wheel for controlling the brightness of the LEDs and also has a capture button for if you're using your Android phone. As you can see, I can look right inside the ports on my Apple Mac. I also took another look inside the box of the little iPod clone, um, but it's still not in there. And if you don't want to look in my nose and mouth, please look away now. Now this endoscope is supposed to be waterproof, I stuck it down a plug hole, but as it was attached to my Mac, I didn't really fancy submerging it in water. The coolest thing actually was looking inside this little model car, which made it look absolutely massive. In fact, this is a model of my car, and it looks really realistic. One final thing, please remember, this is not a medical endoscope. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope it's given you some cool gift ideas. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another unboxing and review.